In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to render more than one PowerDirector project at a time. You may find yourself in a situation where for a friend or client, you have several projects you're working on and they contact you and say, well, show me what you've got so far. Uh, they may be finished or partly finished. And so you need to quickly render all of them into a format um, your friend or client can use. I ran into a situation where I rendered several projects in a WMV format and had a difficult time bringing them into Media Composer first. So I put them in the queue and rendered them all as MP4s. So if you need to process more than one file at a time for any reason, how do you do that? Well, we're going to click on the file menu at the very top, and then we'll move down and click on batch produce. That will pop up a screen with a grid and a few directions. You can select the hard drive where the disk information is going, and I'll put this on my two terabyte drive. And then we can select our projects. Right now it says I have none. I'll click on the plus key and click on this blur effects and now that's loaded. It gives the project name. It gives the outputted file name and we can click to change it. I have the format and I have the quality. Let's add another one. Let's take the alpha diamond and we'll do another one. We'll do evaporate transitions. Now if I want to change the order of the processing, all I need to do is click on the up arrow or down arrow when I simply highlight this and I'll take the alpha diamonds and lower that to the third or I could take it and move it up to the top of the list. So this would be the order of processing. If I want to remove it, all I need to do is click on the minus button below the grid. Right now it tells me I have three projects and it gives me an estimated file size. If I want to change the output, all I need to do is highlight the item click on the pencil button and I can edit the features. Let's say I want to produce this in an MPEG-4 format and I can choose a default profile or a custom one if I want to. Um, let's go ahead and change the resolution to uh, 30p instead of 24 and then all I, all I need to do is click on OK. Now I have one M MPEG-4 and two that will be WMVs. Let's change the second one as well. Go to the next one down and we'll edit that. And let's say we want to do a, a different kind of format with this one. Um, we'll do AVI and we'll leave it at default format and click on OK. So now I have three separate formats to process. Um, if I want to see the file, if I say I, I know what the, the title is, but I don't remember exactly um, what it does, I can click on this key and it will preview the file for me. So I can go ahead and I have uh, play, pause, fast forward. I can go ahead and uh, look at it and see what the file is if I need some more information. There's no processing going on here but it just gives me a way to look at that. So now I have all that information. I'm ready to go. All I need to do is click on Start. And when I click on Start, we have some statistics at the bottom. It tells me which of the projects I'm working on and what percentage of it is finished. I finished the first one. Now that it's working on the second one as uh, it's giving me the file size as well. And uh, that one's almost done. And then in a moment, it will start with the third one. And I'll have all of them uh, produced pretty effectively. If you'd like, you can shut down your computer after it's, the production is finished. And uh, so it's kind of a, a start it and walk away if you want to. When you're done, simply click Close. And you can go back to editing in your current project or a new one. A nice feature when you need to do some multiple processing of your uh, video projects in CyberLink PowerDirector.